Okay, round kicks. All right, so it's so gonna be a part of our kickboxing sections for this cycle. Um, we're gonna start with a back leg round kick here. So important things about a round kick, my base foot needs to pivot, right? I need to be able to chamber my leg nice and tight into a, a horizontal fashion with toes pointed, and I'm gonna try to strike with the shin, all right? Not necessarily the foot, okay? So I'm um, talk real quick about how Shidoshi's holding. So it, what's important about what she's doing right now is her whole body is squared towards where the kick is coming from. So her spine is not at all twisted, right? Her spine is nice and straight. Her elbows are dug in nice and tight to her body, right? And she's giving a pulse of energy back into the kick like she's high-fiving my shin, like good job, shin, right? And that's gonna help, again, protect her, help her keep her balanced, but also give me good resistance for the, for the training, right? So I'm gonna pivot this foot, pivot the foot, the knee comes up and I'm basically pointing my knee straight ahead and then it's gonna twist as I continue to pivot that foot. My knee is gonna do a little bit of a corkscrew action until I can get my shin into this horizontal position and notice the toes are nice and pointed. So I pivot, I chamber, and then I'll strike and notice my foot is way over here, right? My toes aren't even touching the pad, I'm trying to lay my shin right across the target this way, thinking of the front edge of my shin as uh, the edge of an ax or a sword that I'm chopping in to the target in this horizontal fashion. All right, so I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna chamber, and I'm gonna extend and strike with the shin. Now let me talk about the hands real quick. I'm being a little bit lazy with the hands, right? But I am trying to keep them up, okay? One thing that I can do with this right hand as the right kick is developing, I can sort of counterbalance by wiping across this way, almost like I'm waving to you over there at the camera, right? The other hand's gonna come across and it can kind of cover my face right here, right? And that can help keep my balance, maybe add a little bit of power to the kick. The important thing is here, I'm not being so lazy that it drops way down and then hangs out and stays there. The hand is always gonna come back into this guarding position as soon as that contact is made and I'm resetting into my stance, okay? A couple more times. Thank you, ma'am. So follow along with me just a little bit here. We're in our fighting stance. The lead foot is our base foot. That's the one that's gonna pivot. So think about turning it right from the get-go. Now, how far do we pivot? We're gonna go for a minimum of 90 degrees. So if my toes are pointing straight at you, by the time I've finished my uh, pivot or my kick, my toes are pointing 90 degrees that way. Now I have also pivoting on the ball of my foot. So look how the heel comes up. And that's the thing that's sort of swinging around. The ball of the foot stays on the ground and that's the pivot point right there, okay? So let's pivot a couple times. As you pivot, go ahead and let this back leg uh, uh, bend, let your back heel come up if it's not already there, and pull this hip forward, right? That hip starts to come forward. Pivot one more time. Now into that pivot position, bring your knee up, point it straight at your imaginary target. All right, bring it back down. Pivot, bring the knee up, and now go ahead and let that knee twist like a corkscrew to get your heel back here behind your butt, toes pointed, and the shin nice and flat there. So we pivot. We chamber, and then we'll extend and we'll throw the kick, leading with the shin, thinking about the shin cutting through the target. And then we'll try to press the rewind button and bring it all the way back to our fighting stance. So we pivot, we chamber, we kick, and we recover. Pivot, chamber, kick, and recover. All right, and there's the round kick.